Hello everyone. I'd like to bring an article to your attention that a friend of mine has posted recently. It's on beforeitsnews.com and the title of it is The Third Book of Christ's Revelation to John Restored. Anyone who's a truther who works for God exposing the lies of Satan and Lucifer on this planet needs to read this book. I'm going to read this article because it's not very long, but it has links that I highly recommend people check out. John was given a third book to write in Revelation, but not liking what it said, they, T-H-E-Y, removed it from the Bible. Fortunately, it has been restored into the King of Kings Bible and is available to all as God in Christ intended. The hierarchy enslaving you, they, didn't like it because it condemns their priests so they did exactly what the book warned them not to do. Revelation 30:19. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book of prophecy, the Father shall take away his right to the tree of life, and he will be cast out of the holy city, and will share not the eternal gift of paradise and bliss, which are written in this book. Christ obviously knew the temporary evil leaders of this world would remove this information to keep us impoverished in the dark and enslaved to them. This third book of Christ's revelation to John provides clarity to the first and second books revealing more insight about the time of the end which they desperately do not want you to have. That's why they removed chapters 23 to 29 making John's original chapter 30 the last chapter in their version, chapter 22. From the original they, the hierarchy enslaving you, also left out the portion of Christ's second coming in Revelation 30, 16 to 20. The third book of Christ's revelation to John as presented in the King of Kings Bible. 23, 1. To the seven spirits in the province of Asia, your brother John bore faithful witness for your deliverance from reproach, being known that the pure soul is energy, light, Daniel 12.3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. 23.2. Having the ear, I, John, in the spirit, write, for there came a loud voice like a trumpet behind me. I turned and did see the light, and fell at his feet as though dead. Chapter 1.17. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Out of the light came forth a voice, saying, John, be not afraid, for I hand you a key that transcends death and Hades, for you have not forsaken your first love. Do all things that you did at first. 118. I am he that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. For the beast will be slain, and his sign will be laid down by the Lamb. A great trumpet will sound from a high place, and a great star set on the staff will be carried into the midst of the crowd. And the Lord will bless this place and make it a holy city, and it will be called the New Jerusalem. And the city will come out of heaven from God, and be of jasper and crystal, and the wall of the city will have twelve foundations and gates, and will bear the names of the apostles. And the Lamb will sit in the midst, and will number thirteen. For seven will be called, and five will be chosen. The city will be measured by a rod of gold, and to its measure will be added every kind of precious stone. They will bear their feet, and bow their heads, for all nations and kings of the earth will see no other splendor 
and the temple gates will not shut by day, and there will be no night there. And the impure will burn as transparent glass, and the pure as gold. The glory of nations will sit by the throne of the temple that is within the city, and any that come in shame or deceit will bear no fruit, and their seed will be as iron. Each will know the prophecy of the other, and each forehead bear the sign, for the words of prophecy must not cause false witness. For Aristus, who could leave his body at will, knew his Lord, and the word is solemn, and cause it not to be tampered with. For the Spirit said, Come, whoever is thirsty, take the gift of water of life. Anyone who receives the word from the temple of light will be born again. John 3, 3-10 And those who make false witness will walk naked as a thief. They will carry no name, and their mouths will be as the mouths of the beast. For they will sit in the spirit of demons and lie with the frog. And the city will be born on a cloud of light. Matthew 17, 5 Not set upon the earth, but carried by the Spirit. Through the gates will come many peoples and languages, and they will speak with a single tongue and read the book of life. And the priests of the earth will come forth and call the book evil and make pain of the 144,000 who are of the light. But the priest will read the book and the word will turn the stomach sour, but in the mouth it will be sweet as honey. Thus the word will be revealed by the spirit of light, but the priests of the earth will not see the word but make witness to the defiled word, which came out of the mouths of angels, but fell into the hands of the beast. What the Spirit opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. The defiled priest will lie with the beast. The remaining chapters can be read in the King of Kings Bible, which Jah has made available for free online reading. Please click here to continue reading from Revelation 24. Jah has restored other books that were wrongfully removed from the Bible, such as the books of Enoch, two Esedras, Wisdom, the Gospel of Thomas, chapter 29 of the Acts of the Apostles, has also been recovered and restored, as has the book of Tiatefi. The King of Kings Bible also includes the Quran, which has been correct and completely cross-referenced with the Old and New Covenant slash Testament for the first time in human history, thereby opening the seven seals of the book, Revelation 5, which Daniel has told to seal until the end times, Daniel 12.4. And the little book promised in Revelation 10 has likewise been included in the hard copy of the King of Kings Bible, Revelation 10.7-10. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound the mystery of God, should be finished as he has declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spoke unto me again, and said, Go and take the little book, which is opened in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. I went unto the angel, and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it, and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book, the white stone, chapter 217, out of the angel's hand, and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten, digested it, my belly was bitter. That little book is entitled The Way Home or Face to Fire by Jah, Malachi chapter 4. And it explains the mystery of God exactly as prophesied. The title is self-explanatory. The Bible tells us God created the earth and mankind. But no one has ever told us why until now, during these end times. This is the information 
that every genuine truth seeker has been looking for, as well as the only survival plan guaranteed to work. Peace be upon you and within you. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the I Am, Surah 4361. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with the curse. This article provides the links necessary to expose to people who are Christians who have been lied to by their priests and don't believe it. They don't realize that they've been lied to. The priests have been misleading them, working for Satan, working for their paycheck by keeping their churches open and allowing them to receive the tax benefits that allow them to stay, quote-unquote, in business, working for mammon and money, Satan's tools. For those who are looking for the truth, the truth is here today and is being exposed as was prophesied. Okay, guys, live in love. Peace.